Hey guys! Hello! And welcome to another episode of Massey, Massey Art Studios. Studios. I'm Jeremy. I'm Lee. Yes, you are. I am. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> mine. <laughs> that is. I totally just stole that from you. <laughs> So today's episode is going to be a lot of fun. I am doing something that I have not done in a long, long time. But you really enjoy it. And I think that if people were to say the techniques that you are the most yeah. common with, like you really made your own, it would be wrecking rings yes. and this one, which is... The marbling technique. Yeah, I really love your marbling. Yeah. I tried it once and couldn't do it because I just used too much color. And it uh, came out looking like a like an open cup kind of thing. Yeah. So there's definitely a technique to it that you've mastered. Yes. I um listen to me. Yes. yes. <laughs> no, I didn't mean it that way. I didn't mean it that way. Yes, I would love to do another marbling and I love to do this technique. Good. Um I'm not a master at it. Um, although I do love it. So it's okay to say you were a master at it. I think you are. That's not what I meant. I know, I get it. <laughs> Um, I'm going to do something that I love doing. And what's that? The dustpan. Oh, that's right. You're yeah. like king of dustpan. Yeah, only at the table, not, not in the house. <laughs> uh, yes, I am going to use the dustpan. I'm probably going to use the split cup to ring into the dustpan, and then I'm going to pour that on my canvas. And mm. my, my goal here, this time around, is to keep maybe 50% or, or at least a third negative space. Got it. So um, I will definitely be using negative space on this. Nice. Canvas. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I, and the colors are really, really beautiful. So, yeah. uh, we've, so we're gonna see what happens. We've dumbed it down a little bit with our color yeah. palette today. We're going kind of three shades of blue, a white, and a gold. Um, yeah. Which well, that's not dumbing it down. That's just being really beautiful. It is. No, I totally agree. Yeah. But we've had some feedback from one of our mentors, and it's like, you know, we we get very excited about color, so we want to throw everything in there. Um, and sometimes that doesn't always mean for a great composition. Mm. Um, so we're still learning and we're still playing around with color always, palettes. Always. Today's going to be a good one. Yes. All right, guys. Well, let's get to painting. Let's do it. We'll see you at the table. Okay, guys. It's Jeremy here, and I am really excited about all this, um, about doing another marbling technique. Um, I have right here my cup with a pin in it. Now, I did stick the pin in it already. Um, I stuck it in towards the bottom of the cup, so that way whenever I layer my cup and I flip it over onto the canvas, all I have to do is remove this pin and that'll allow, the, that'll allow air in so the suction drops and it pours the paint out onto the canvas. Um, so that's why, that's why I did that. Um, but yeah, I stuck the pin in there myself and you know, little technique that I little came up with a while back. Um, but anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and get start layering my cup. No, you're not. You're gonna tell them the colors. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, my allergies are killing me today. Right. So I'm a little off. You know, it's so funny. We, we did get a message. I know you saw it because you responded to it. Yes. Um, from someone saying, Lee, you need to stop helicoptering Jeremy. And I know you responded to oh, yeah. saying, you know, sometimes like, you just get very excited. You get I very do. passionate. I do. So I, I'm not helicoptering you. I'm just keeping you on track. Yes. We talk about what yes. you want to do in the episode. Yes. yes. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. He's coming across bossy, but actually he's, <laughs> he's not, he's not that bossy. He's not that bossy. <laughs> but you. okay. So the colors that we're using today, whoops, as I throw it across the canvas is the quinacridone burnt orange by Goldens. And into that there is mixed a little iridescent fine gold. Um, because it is the perfect way to use that color. Yes. Um, we have the Phalo Blue by Liquitex Basics. We have the Pearl Glacier Blue by Arteza. I know you love that one. I do, I love that one. And then we have the Turquoise Blue by Liquitex Basics. And we also have the wonderful, lovely 24 karat Deco Art Americana gold, which is one of our staples here. Okay. So, and then I have the pearl white that I'm gonna use as far as like to help mix my colors in my cup. So now let's go ahead and get to the layer in my cup. Absolutely. So, all right. And so and what's the plan with a, with a marbling technique cup? Like what is it you're trying to do here? Well, what, what I try to do is not to pierce the white. So what I'm doing is just drizzling a little bit of the uh, paint on top of the white. Now what I'm gonna show you here is this. Okay. I'm gonna pour some white into the cup, right? 
So pouring that white into the cup. Now, yeah, that should be enough. Now I'm going to take like the, the blue and I'm just going to drizzle some color on the top of it. All you need is very little color for this technique. Wow, I mean, you really did literally. It's just yeah. whatever was left on the popsicle stick. Exactly. On the craft stick there. Yes, exactly. So, oh, I'm gonna love these colors together. Love. Now you don't want it to, like I said, to uh, add too much color. Just a little bit goes a long way with the marbling technique. So but you need see. enough in there to at least get some color, right? I remember yes. that as you've been practicing this technique, you've kind of done them and they've been so light because there's just been no color in there. So it really is very skillful layering. Yes. Okay. And like on the, on the middle, oh, and then this is a really important part because you don't want the, when I pour this white into this cup, you don't want it to uh, pierce the paint that's in the cup right. and push it down to the bottom. So okay. this is where it gets really, like you just really want to be careful and kind of go around. Okay. I think this is what I did wrong. I think I was probably too quick with throwing in the white. Because you just want to layer it on the top. Okay. And then I kind of just sprinkle the very, very lightly over the rest of it until it's all covered. Whoops. Okay. Let's go ahead and just put it down the sides again. Whoops, jeez. And you're probably about, what, half of the way of the cup now? Um, yes. Now what I'm gonna do is, as you can see, the color here is in the center of the cup. Right. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some more color. Okay. I love the gold. It's crazy. I, I, I'm, I would be so worried that there's just not enough color in there. <laughs> trust me, it goes a long way. Okay, I trust you. I'm just gonna do a few of the colors on this layer. And then go back with some of the, of the other colors on the top layer. Okay. Yeah. So you're trying to do the same again and just kind of sandwich yeah. the colors in between the layers of white. Yeah. Okay. I know I'm holding my breath as I do this. And then once the colors are kind of all covered, you, you go in a little heavier with the white just to add more layer, right? Yes, okay. yes. So now I'm gonna go back and do this beautiful. Burnt orange. Burnt orange. Some more of the blue. Some of the turquoise. Now that turquoise can take over. So always be careful with the turquoise. And then again, I'm gonna finish off the top of, whoops, went a little bit over. Luster white. Cool. And that's that. That's, that's one my sandwiched cup. cup. That is one sandwiched cup. All right, guys, so I got my layered cup here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it onto the canvas and then I'm going to pull the pen, uh, pull the pen out and let it travel, help it travel down the canvas in a kind of an S formation. 
and then I'm going to tilt it and stretch it out. Again, I'm going to, to do a little cheating here. Listen, it's not cheating. It's assisting. <laughs> it is assisting. So it is, it is like, I wish you guys could feel this because it is like stuck. stuck on there. So I'm gonna let the colors run just for a second. And then I'm going to gently remove that and help it travel down. Now see what I say about like a little paint goes a long way. Absolutely. I mean, look at this. Like, a lot of it's gonna get stretched off, I think, but a little bit of paint, just a little bit that I put in there is so, like, predominant. Right. So, all right, so what time is it? What time is it? Um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, it is tilting time. Let's do it. All right, so. So you don't need a flow extender then? No, I do not need a flow extender because it doesn't matter if the colors run over each other. Okay. Yeah. Okay guys, I'm in love with this. Um, I am loving this movement that goes through here and that quinacridone burnt orange, how it highlights in here. The gold is selling up and coming through in certain places. But I thought the turquoise was really gonna take over more and it really didn't, didn't. at all. Um, but I'm in love with this. I think it's absolutely stunning. I think so too. Um, and I'm going to go ahead, I'm gonna clean up my edges and take you guys in for a close-up. Let's do it. Let's do it. Lee here. You just saw Jeremy do a really beautiful, super successful marbling technique. Next, I am up. And on these 12 by 24 inch uh -huh. canvases, mm -hmm. yeah, we've got to mention that. I am going to 
layer this two channel split cup, pouring pour it onto Donald and then pour that onto the canvas. And like I said, I'm, my plan is to try and keep some negative space. So before I get to layering this little split cup, the one thing I am gonna do first is put a base coat on my canvas. Now, Jeremy didn't need a base coat for the marbling technique, but I am going to because I am planning on keeping some negative space. So I have here the quinacridone burnt orange that's mixed with the iridescent gold fine by Goldens. And what the mixing of the gold fine does with the quinacridone burnt orange is lighten up the orange. And then it's kind of almost turns copper, right? Jeremy, would you say? I would definitely say so. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. Like, it's like this like coppery orangey color, which we absolutely love and I am obsessed with, and I have used it a ton of times, and I probably will keep using it. So um, this is a mix of 50% quinacridone burnt orange, and then about 50% iridescent gold fine. That makes up my 25% paint, because all of these are mixed. 50% flow troll, 25% paint, and 25% Liquitex gloss medium. So I'm gonna cover this base coat, this canvas with a base coat, I'll be back to you in just one second. I changed my mind. I got the three channel split cup out because as I was thinking about how I'm gonna lay my colors, I decided to do things a little differently. So I have my three channel cup here. All right, Jeremy, let's get layer in this cup. Yes. I have three colors of blue, the same colors that you've got, and then a white and a gold mix. And I'm gonna use them like this. It's gonna be blue, then it's gonna be white and silver, and then it's gonna be blue, and then it's gonna be white and silver, and blue, white and silver. That's how I'm gonna layer each one of these channels. You mean uh, ice, the ice blue color? Uh, what Not silver. Did I say silver? You said silver. I said blue, white and gold, blue, white and gold, blue, white and gold. No, did I say silver? silver? Yeah. I don't know where I got silver from, it's crazy. All right, well, then let's just do this. So this is, the darker blue going in. I'm gonna fill fairly high. Then I'm gonna do white, a little layer. Then gold, not silver, a little layer. Then my other blue, thicker layer. white and gold. Yeah? Yeah. And then I'm going to do the other blue. Turquoise, thicker level. White. Gold. Then the electric blue. off with some of the darker blue. I love that pearl glacier blue. I know. I just always find it like a little wishy-washy, you know, that's my favorite way to describe it. But it's got its place here. White. Gold. Okay, so I'm next gonna take Donald. I'm gonna lay him right here, Jeremy. And I'm gonna lay him on the table so I have both my hands because I can never catch my paw if I do it with two hands. So I'm gonna just pour a tiny little bit, a puddle of the pearl white into the bottom just to help me pour into. Mm -hmm. Next, we're gonna ring pour this straight into Donald. Are you ready, sir? I am ready, sir. Let's do this.
Oops. That is one beautiful ring pour. Thank you, thank you. Now, without spilling any of this out of Donald, now. That is full. That is full. Now, let's get this onto the canvas with my intention to leave some negative space. Okay. All right. So now I have this beautiful blue feather on the canvas. I'm gonna take it backwards and forwards just to like, you know, play around with some of these lines, but I will be leaving some of the Renacogon burnt orange at the bottom. So it is, in fact, dustpan tilt and time. Let's do this. <laughs> tilt and time. Your door 
Okay, so you saw me put my Donald ring pour onto the canvas, and then I found this like a really straight and kind of very even line, which I didn't like. So using the Quinacridone Burnt Orange Base Coat, I kind of ate into the composition. Um, I really kind of like these waves that I had here on the right hand, on my right hand side, and kind of created this divot and these wavy lines here at the top. Um, just to really break up that composition, for me, it was kind of really what I wanted to see. So, now I'm done. I've played around with it, I've tilted it, and this is exactly what I was hoping for. So I really like this, I hope you guys too. Let me take you in for a close-up. I'm gonna get my edges, and then come and have a look at this and see what you think. All right, guys, there you have it. There you have it. Yes. One marbling and one dustpan pour for you. Mm. Yeah. Two very different kind of results. Yeah. Using exactly definitely. the same colors. I know, I know. As it's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, we, get, we still get a lot of comments saying yeah. that we love that we're using the same colors to do two compositions. Yeah. What we hope that it shows you, although I don't know an artist that doesn't have a gazillion colors, but what it does show you is that you only really do need four, five, or six staple colors, and you yeah. can just create like millions of pieces using yeah. those colors. Exactly. It doesn't have to be an expensive hobby unless you really make it. Yeah, exactly. So why don't we go in and show you the dried results from last time, yeah, from last episode, because we didn't get to show you them last episode. We did not. Um, no, so. Do you want me to start? Yeah, absolutely, we go ahead. So in the wet results, what you didn't see was all of the crazy cells that started to appear as it was drying because mm. I poured into puddles of gold. Yes. So this is my piece completely dry. Now you'll see the result of the Liquitex gloss medium in here. Look at the shine from this piece. By adding the Liquitex Gloss Medium into the pour, it does mean that you don't have to varnish because as you, this is completely dry now and it's got this really wonderful, beautiful sheen on it. But this is my pour. It's the rivers of the gold, the quinacridone, the nickel azo. I did a ring, sorry, a straight pour and then wrecked it. But look at all these gold cells that just popped up just as it was drying. Really, really love this piece. It was very colorful, very bright. Very I love it. Not my norm. No, this is so not you. This no. is so outside of your zone. Absolutely. And mine, which I thought was really interesting, dried very dark. It's very moody, I think. But um, but I love it. I think it's like so cool. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, I love it. All Come the blue back just and. Okay. Then get it all in. There okay. you go. Sorry. No, it's cool. I'm so excited on no, no, showing. No, no, no. I want, I want, I want them to see the close-up, but I want to see yeah. it all together because you've got these like three areas of your three rings, which yeah. was so perfect. So. Yeah, I really love this one too. Yeah, it kind of looks like a like a dragon or something in the center of that. Gold. I see that, like with the, yeah. the wing here or something. Yeah. Yeah, super cool. So, yes, that was mine. Good pour, hubby. Yes. Um, let's take you in to see the wet results from the pours that we just did. Have a look at this marbling technique and this dustpan pour just one last time. There you have it, guys. Have it. Another episode of Massey Art Studio, right. down and down and under, uh -huh. and uh, and um, we have. Let's see. Sunday we have the Gina DeLuca, right? Uh -huh. Do's and don'ts yeah. coming up, 
um, which is going to be very exciting. Um, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Right. Um, I'm kind of all over the place in this episode. <laughs> like okay. I said. It's okay. Yeah. Everyone still like, loves you. you, like, you know, we all got stuffy this. and sneezy. I know, I know. I think maybe you're coming down with a little cold. Can I tell them something then? Of course. Well, then between now and the 18th of April, you got three collaborations coming up with Massey Art oh, wow. Studio. We have Gina's collab this Sunday. Yes. We have a very special and heck of a lot of fun Easter collaboration coming up for you. And then on the 18th of April, we have a collaboration with humongous, wonderful artist who you all know and you all love. I'm not gonna say anything more other than the fact that this person is a big wig and a certain queen of a style. Wow. we do do regularly here on the channel so wow. we've got some fun collaborations coming up for you over the next few weeks oh wow that's amazing yeah, yeah. i don't even know who this person is yet so i'm you gonna do. go and pick his brain no yes. i'm kidding <laughs> i totally do <laughs> all right guys thanks for another amazing episode we will see you on sunday see you sunday for bye. the collab bye guys bye guys so there are some extra special people that we want to say thank you to and that's to our Patreons, uh, or as we like to call them, the Massey Posse. Now the Patreon account is something completely separate to the YouTube channel, but it allows a certain few of you the opportunity to have a little bit of a closer look at the studio. Yes. And there are various levels. So at one level, you might get to see sneak peeks and behind the scenes videos. What? You might get up the opportunity to join us on our live WhatsApp chat group where we swap pictures and talk about techniques. Yes. Um, at a certain level, you get invited to once a month tutorials where we focus on a specific technique and we do it on a live stream, as well as separate live streams as well. Yeah. And for our diamond pourers, which is our highest tier, those guys get to pick the colors for one episode that we shoot on the YouTube channel, and then they get to pick one of the 11 by 14 canvases yes. to keep every single month. So we do have some people to thank, and that's at the gold level, we have Nate Bright, we have Gloria Salonki, aka Glitzy, we have Jane Klein, Trisha West, we have Janice Pittman, and we have Janice Swansea. Nice. On the platinum level, we have Leslie Beaver. Thank you, Leslie. And then at the diamond level, Laurie Finzer, aka Sparkles, Sparkles, who you all know and love. So thank you very much to all you guys. And then also thank you to everyone else down here below at the other levels. Yes. We absolutely appreciate you and thank you for being with us here on this journey.